When we think of Hollywood, big names and big pictures come to mind. Oscar nominations were announced recently, among them BYU alum J. Christian Jensen for his documentary, Wide Earth. But BYU has another hidden gem, a program that brings imagination to life. Photojournalist Peter Rosen takes us inside BYU's Center for Animation. Bringing an idea to life. I see the color, texture, the bump factor. Garrett Oyos says the breakup of the color takes attention to detail. It's just so exquisite. <laughs> Oyos stares at a ram's horn. Honestly, just staring at things for like hours on end. All mountains have been conquered. To visualize a movie named just that. It's a Chuck Jones-esque situational comedy. It's the annual short produced by students at BYU's Center for Animation. It was 10 years ago that students in the then-fledgling program produced their first big film, Lemmings, and won both an Emmy and an Academy Award. Uh, Lemmings created a culture of success. <laughs> One film after another would win these student Emmys or win a student Academy Award. <laughs> We were just amazed at what a university was able to come out with. Pizza, may I have some more? Students started getting picked up at some of the, the bigger studios. Everyone from DreamWorks to Pixar to Disney, you know, we're, we're infiltrating the industry. Now BYU alumni are named in the credits of at least four of five Golden Globe animated nominees. Thank you for this most informative talk. Look at life I did lighting. You. Nick Noggle was an early program graduate. I had graduated when they sent their first person from Pixar to check out the BYU program. And that's when things started to really pick up because people at Pixar started talking about this program out in Provo, Utah. <laughs> what are you doing here? One of the BYU films <laughs> Noggle worked on caught the eye of a teenage Garrett Oyos. It was my dream since I was in high school to come and do this. You want to guys want to go through the edit? Now Oyos is Ram's Horn's uh, producer. Ricky, did you change the color of the bird? He leads big discussions on the smallest details. What do you guys think? The twinkle of an eye. So you guys think sparkles like no sparkles? A split second expression. I don't think the acting is unrealistic, but we're doing is we're showing more than we need to. Aha. Uh -huh. Everyone here spends hours no, dang it. on seconds. It's just, it's literally making this world from scratch. George Gonzalez has been making clouds. You've spent a lot of time working on clouds? Yeah, like almost half the year-ish on clouds. For six months. Believe it or not, it takes a long time. <laughs> Jeremy Oberns spent weeks on an avalanche. I think it's four or five seconds. And Garrett Oyos has been recreating that ram's horn. I'm kind of obsessed with textures, so I kind of all stare at things for a long time, and I try to taste objects with my mind. It's kind of weird. Uh, don't put that in. Uh, so at some points, you're like, why am I doing this? But when you see it come to life, it's like, before they were just dead characters on a screen, like, just, now I'm actually making them to move and like emote and do things. It's like, oh my gosh, it's, it's so cool. It's the whole point of the illusion of life and it's actually kind of addicting. Is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. It's, it's the journey. Students have spent a year on the film and the week before Christmas. Finals week, but I think we all prefer being here working on the film. They're still here. I wish I had no homework so I could work in here all day. Because Ayos and his classmates know all those little moments. We're learning to work with each other to make something great. Could add up. Just making something beautiful. To something pretty special. If I can replicate real life in the computer, that's, uh, that's pretty neat. Neat indeed. Peter Rosen with that story.